উৎসর্গের বেদী এর পরের টা যেটা আছে সেটা কি বলা হয় এখন এটা কি এরপর একটা কি আর ওই বিষয়টা হচ্ছে ধূপ বেদি এখন এই যে দরজাটা এটাতে কি বলা হয় তারপরে বক্সটা কি Okay, and so what's in it? It's the key, sir. So you've got the Ten Commandments. You've already guessed that one. What else is in it? What else is in it? The stick of Haran. Yeah, okay. So Aaron's rod. এটার পাশে কি আছে দুই পাশে দুইটা ইয়া আছে মানে দুধ আছে তারপর হচ্ছে মুসের যে আইন ব্যবস্থা গুলো আছে সেগুলো মরানো আছে আর এই বক্সের উপরে কি আছে মহাপবিত্র স্থানে ঢোকার আগে এই মহাজাদকের এই সমস্ত পদ সমস্ত স্তর গুলোতে যাওয়া লাগতো না হলে সে মারা যেত এবং এইটা হচ্ছে সম্পূর্ণ সিস্টেম তাকে শেষ করছিল What does it mean? Uh, what does it mean? Mm. Well, that means God's presence won't be there anymore. Because while that vile layer was to protect everyone from the presence of God. That's why it had to be so thick. Because <laughs> if anyone has walked past here and God was... এটা পেরিয়ে যেতে এবং ঈশ্বর যদি এখানে থাকতেন 
So the point is when he showed any doubt, he showed God took away his speech. Because doubt in God is a form of sin. So essentially God is protecting it is Zachariah. Oh, I just couldn't spell it properly. John's father. <laughs> okay, what? John's father. John's father. Yeah, yeah, exactly. John the Baptist's father. Okay. Alright. So <coughs> you have <coughs> altar of sacrifice. What does that mean? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Sacrifice. Okay, so the cross. Okay, what is the washing? Yeah. Baptism. Yeah. Baptism. What does baptism do? Baptism key code? Wash away your sin. Yeah, we die and then we're born again. So, baptism and washing away sin. Baptism away yeah. um. Okay, candlesticks. What do they represent? It's a holy spirit. Remember at Pentecost when they got the Holy Spirit, what happened to them? Do you any remember? No. What happened At Pentecost, the flame of fire on their head. Okay, that's what this is all about. Okay. Okay, so table of showbread, what's that? Does anyone remember? I know you two do. <laughs> do you guys remember? What is, what's the bread of life? Remember, it talks about God's word. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And another place it was written that Jesus is the word of life. Uh, he's the word made life. flesh. Yeah. Yeah, he's the word made flesh. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So. I'm giving you very basic meanings for these. There's much more depth. <laughs> you could study the sanctuary for years. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So, this one. Um, what's the word? Um, what does that mean? What's the altar of incense? Remember? What's the smoke? Oi, Duata Kisha. Duata Ki. Come on, Janish. Do be the Manoche, you should have performed some of God's glory and prayer. Yeah, our prayers, okay. Are they Prasuma? Okay, so the vial is the protection, okay. So we've got all of that there. Righto. So, remember the law. What's the law of Moses in the Bible? Where do you find that? Bible A Exodus 22. So the law is all the way through really Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. It's sort of 
a lot of it's in Leviticus. So it's Colossians 2.14. Okay, it says, Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which uh, was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. So, this law, which is the Ten Commandments, was written by the finger of God, okay? It was written on stone. This verse is talking about this law here. Which, which was handwriting written by Moses or one of his scribes. Okay. Now, it was inspired by God. But it had a lot of points in it that were intentionally annoying. Imagine if you did something wrong and you had to sacrifice a lamb every time. And you didn't have much money. Would that be painful? <coughs> that would be pretty painful, right? So it was designed to be annoying. It was, it was designed to show us how bad sin really is. And not only that, to point to Jesus. So you keep reading. Uh, uh, verse 14. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or drink or in respect of holy day or on the new moon or on the Sabbath days. And it qualifies that by saying, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. So anything written in, in this law, which was a shadow of things to come, no one should ever judge you in that. So in other words, is sacrificing a dove for a ceremonial cleansing, is that pointing to this? Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. So, the things that were nailed to the cross are not the practical laws. Because there are three types of laws in this, in this law. Yeah. There was what one? There was the first one, which was. Uh, the law, okay. And then the second one, which was the punishment. Or solution. Okay. And the last one was a ceremonial aspect. Okay. 
which often thought was some animal being sacrificed. Okay. That was nailed to the cross. That was definitely against us. Okay, so the third part was nailed to the cross, for sure. So, three And that included many of the ceremonial laws relating to dress. And there is a bunch of different ones. There's a lot of different laws. Yeah. Okay. And this punishment and solution bit this was a practical application for the Jews at the time. Of this law. Okay. So today we do the same thing. If if by our neglect, we drive a car and hit someone. And kill them. And it's accidental. We are accused of manslaughter. Which is a much lower crime than than say if you intentionally killed someone. Much lower. Which is a much, much lesser crime than if you killed someone intentionally. So in some countries you can be put to death for killing someone. Like in America. But for manslaughter you'll only get 10 years. And if it wasn't your fault at all, you may get no time. In jail. Yeah. Okay. So so today the punishments that the we have a lot of different things today. So instead of an ox in the Western world at least. We might have a tractor. Or instead of a donkey, you might have a CMG, you know. Instead of a donkey, you might have a CMG. So, so some of these punishments and solutions don't actually apply to our world. But some kind of do. So they're not always applicable. Okay? But the law doesn't change. Okay, for example, we have dietary laws. Let's say don't eat pork. Yeah. Or don't eat shellfish. And don't eat uh, scavengers. What is scavengers? Uh, like, like eagles yes. or anything that eats other dead things. So does is that not eating those animals? Is that a shadow of Christ? Or is that just logical? It's, it's logical. just logical, okay? So they aren't nailed to the cross. That's why there's the qualification, okay? It's any of those laws in that document that point to Christ? Okay, so 
they are nailed to the cross. Because if we sacrifice an animal today, it's for no purpose. Because Jesus has already paid the price. So it would almost be an insult to God. Well, it probably is an insult to God. And that's why it says judge no one in Sabbath days. Okay? Because the many feasts they were ceremonial Sabbaths. Okay. But this law it's written in stone, okay? Does the Sabbath of the Lord God does that point to this time? No. It points to the creation time. So even if it was in this law, which it is, it's not nailed to the cross. Because it wasn't a shadow of this. In other words, it wasn't a prophecy of Jesus. It was just a historical remembrance day for the creation week. And do you think it's still good to remember the day we were created? Yeah, it's still good. Okay, so... Much time we have. We have still half an hour. Okay, so no, 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 twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Has anyone got any questions about any of it? The whole lot we've learnt. So we've covered particularly Daniel two. Daniel Daniel seven. Now the sanctuary. Uh, We've covered the doctrine of hell. And the immortality of the soul. And the tree of life. Yes, Janesh. is it also talking here that we should not judge anyone according to that? No. That's talking about what they ate during the sacrificial times. The, um, yeah, like I said, none of this pointed towards Christ, did it? Um, so all he's saying is because at the time there were some Jews who kept the Passover still. Even though that changed to the Lord's Supper. You know where the bread and the wine. Whereas on the Passover they would eat meat, lamb and stuff. And he, he was saying, don't judge people for that. 
তাকে বিচার করো না ইফ দে ওয়ান্ট টু মেইনটেইন देयर ট্র্যাডিশন যদি তারা তাদের ট্র্যাডিশন মানতে চায় পালন করতে চায় উইথাউট স্যাক্রিফাইসিং দ্য অ্যানিমাল একটা ইয়া পশুকে উৎসর্গ না করে তাহলে জাজ দ্য মনে তাদেরকে এটা নিয়ে বিচার করো না সো দ্যাট ইজ কন্ট্রি ট্র্যাডিশনস আর হার্ড টু গেট রিড অফ কারণ এটা হচ্ছে কিছু সংস্কৃতি যেটা আসলে খুব কঠিন এন্ড নট एवरीवनস ইন দ্য সেম প্লেস ইন দ্য চার্চ যে সংস্কৃতিগুলো ভেঙে ফেলা কঠিন এবং সবাই কিন্তু একই অবস্থায় না একই মনে হচ্ছে eventually people will get to the point where they are at the same place তো একসময় মানুষ তখন wait what well like now in our church today none of us keep the passover এখন আমাদের মনোরিতে এখন আমরা কেউই কিন্তু মানুষ এটা পালন করত প্রায় হাজার বছর ধরে তাই শুধু বলতেছি যে মানুষকে এটার উপরে বিচার করো না Okay. ঠিক আছে? And on the Sabbath days too because people kept still kept all the different Passovers, okay? Uh, not Passover and the the um feast of the tabernacles, the all the different the different uh feast days, okay? বা বলছে যে মানুষের জন্য ওই সময় বিচার না করা হয়, ওদেরকে যেন বিচার না করা হয় কারণ ওই সময় কিন্তু মানুষ তখনও এই সমস্ত ভোজগুলা তারপরে পালন করতে পারে। And today there are movements in the church who try not in our church but outside the church who who are trying to get people to keep the feast days again. আমাদের মন্ডলের বাইরে অনেকেই আছে যারা চেষ্টা করতেছে মানুষকে যেন এই সমস্ত ভোজের দিনগুলো তাদেরকে দিয়ে যেন এই দিনগুলো পালন করানো যায়। And unless they start sacrificing animals আর যদি না তারা এই পশু পাখি মানুষকে বিচার করবো না যারা এটা পালন করে তারা যেসব খাবার খায় and also remember that word meat এবং একটা কথা মনে রাখবে এই যে মাংস it just means food okay এই যে মাংস কথাটা এর মানে হচ্ছে খাবার ঠিক আছে এটা মানে হচ্ছে তারা ওই দিনে কি কি খায় এটা and that's why there's the qualification আর এই জন্য এখানে একটা qualification আছে things that pointed to jesus okay এই সমস্ত বিষয়গুলো খ্রিস্টের দিকে আমাদেরকে লক্ষ্য দেয় okay so that is the question প্রশ্ন উত্তর পেয়েছো yeah So because the laws of physics didn't change when Jesus died on the cross. যখন যিশু মারা গিয়েছিলেন তখন ফিজিক্সের যে ল গুলো ছিল এগুলো তো পরিবর্তন হয় নাই। Pork is still very close to our body. It's very similar to our body. The flesh. এখন এ ইয়া um শুকর কিন্তু আমাদের শরীরের মানে একই রকম আমাদের এনার্জি So we can get diseases off pigs very easily. তাই আমরা শুকর থেকে খুব সহজেই কিন্তু রোগ পেতে পারি। These viruses and tend to they tend to interact with things that are similar. কারণ ভাইরাস যেগুলো আছে সেগুলো হচ্ছে সেখানেই ছড়ায় যেটা হচ্ছে একই রকম পরিবেশ। And we are very similar to pigs. এবং আমরা এবং আমরা হচ্ছে শুকরের পানি ফিল্টার করে না ওইটা আমরা প্রত্যেকবার পরিষ্কার করি তাই না পরিষ্কার করে সেটা কি তুমি নিয়ে খাবা What do you think that would do to you? তুমি যদি এটা খাও তখন তোমার কি হবে? You're sick. Make it very sick. অনেক অসুস্থ করবে তাই না? And and that's what they do. আর এগুলো হচ্ছে ওই ওইগুলো করে। When you eat shellfish. যখন তুমি shellfish খাও more than ever before like now more than ever. আগে থেকে বর্তমানে. They are full of mercury. ওদের ভিতরে পারদ ভরা 
and all sorts of heavy metals and toxins. And mercury, if you eat something that has mercury in it, it stores in your brain. Uh, and if you get enough, it'll make you crazy. And it's very hard to get rid of it. You have to go through a very long detox process to get rid of the mercury. Yeah. And the same applies to being fish without scales. For example, catfish. You know the ones with the... Do you have them here? Catfish? They've got, they've got little... You know the ones? <laughs> and they sting you. Like if you get hit by them, they sting really much, a lot. Um, they don't have scales. Okay? And they are bottom feeders. And again, they have very high levels of mercury. Especially, especially in rivers where industrial waste is poured in. Okay, and again, you eat that, it goes into your brain. They eat it a lot in Asian countries, I don't know about here. They do here? Yeah, okay. Okay. When I was in my childhood, mm. I, my parents... Like in Bangladesh, we are taught that eating fish is good for your health. Bangladesh, So I never used to like fish, but I like two types of fish. One is with scale, and another one is without scale. So without scale fish is like like I like fish with less bone, like the big bones that you can take out at once. Yeah, yeah. So that like two types of fish. Yeah, yeah. And I ate a lot of fish without scale. Either. A lot of catfish. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get. 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 I mean, I so I want everyone to say, what's this one called? Acha, Akon, Bolo, what do you want to say? Uchorgo Bedi. This one? What do you want to say? Rokhalan Patro. This one? What do you want to say? Nah, Dorshan Ruti. Lick it up. This one? What do you want to say? What did you say? Dhoop Bedi. Dhoop Bedi. Okay, this one. What did you say? Dhoop Bedi. Dhoop Bedi. Okay, and this one. What did you say? Dhoop Bedi. Dhoop Bedi. Dhoop Bedi. Any more questions? Are you going to push now? Okay, if there's no questions, I just want to give you a little bit of time to try and memorize that, okay? They will get like... How much time? Like Ten minutes more. Ten minutes more to memorize, okay? Because you want to remember this. Okay? Let's pray. Prasana Kuri. Dear Heavenly Father, please guide us now with your Holy Spirit and strengthen our minds to remember. In Jesus' name, Amen.